Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, if it was up to us, would we have gotten here? We've tried our best. We've done what we could. And Lord, we're thankful that you have been there for the rest. You've lifted, lifted us up when we have stumbled and fallen flat. You've nudged and encouraged us back along the way that is good, that is right, that is truth, that is Christ. And Lord, your spirit has spoken into our darkness and provided a light that lights from the very core of our being so that the whole world might be filled again with possibilities that our lives will be filled with hope. And so we praise you, Lord. And we look for ways to praise you in the things we do. To not just go about our routine and get the stuff done. But to look for ways that each and every thing that we set uh, upon our path, we put on our list. we The things we do and get done and the things we desire to do, Lord, that these things will be a praise to you. Lord, help us when our motivation is all about ourselves and what we want. And we do not think about our neighbor, our friend, and all those you have called us to care for. Help us, each one of us, to find our ministry, our priesthood. That way of belonging to the work of your church in sharing good news and offering healing and hope. Lord, we pray for those who do lead us, who lead our society, who lead our fellowship, who lead our congregations. Lord, we ask in prayer for, for the things that they're praying for, an understanding of what it means to, to offer up a praise before people, that we in some sense might share in that and might find our own calling there too. Lord, help us to celebrate the worship that others are offering. And not to be so self-righteous and critical that we miss the good in what they are doing. But Lord, also help us to be discerning. That we will do what is right in your eyes and not just what satisfies our agenda or the worldly measures we often try to live up to. Let us listen to your word, especially as we turn to it now together. And guide us to be the blessings going forward. Teaching and sharing the good news in Jesus Christ in whose name we pray. Amen. And today we turn to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, reading at verse 12. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And... In looking at this passage, I mean, a lot of what Jesus is saying, we put in the context of the way that things shall be at the end of time, but this has been the way it is for all of time. There are periods in world history, in our history, in our lifetimes, in our own lives, where there's a growth in iniquity, there's... Um, a falling away from uh, a life of faith, not just a practice of religion, but a life of faith. And we lose track of how much it affects our, our love and care of those that we love and care for. And Jesus calls us back, as he calls his disciples back, to an awareness, to paying attention. And yes, getting ready for the end, but also getting ready for today, for the ministry that exists in the context of the coming of Christ, and not to be so focused on the end, but on the purpose of the now, that even as we face these things, these troubles, we do not live without hope, we do not serve without guidance, and in the abundance of God's grace, we have opportunities to be a blessing on to others as praise to God. 
And may God allow you to, to find that faith, that fellowship, that service this day and each and every day. God bless you.